In this video, we're going to cover symptoms of chlamydia, the common sexually transmitted infection, also known as an STI for short. In this video, we'll cover symptoms in women, men, as well as symptoms of chlamydia that can affect your bottom, your throat, and even your eyes. Finally, we'll look at when to seek medical advice and where to get help from. As ever, each section is timestamped, and if you do learn something new from this video, then please remember to like it and subscribe to the channel for twice weekly medical education videos. So first of all, it's important to know that chlamydia is one of the most common sexually transmitted infections worldwide. It's passed on through unprotected sex, so this means sex without a condom, and it's most common in teenagers and younger adults, but it can affect anyone of any age. So now we know what chlamydia is and how you get it, well what are the symptoms? Well most people who've got chlamydia don't actually notice any symptoms. That's why here in the UK it's recommended that if you're a man or a woman under the age of 25 who's sexually active you have a chlamydia test once a year, as well as when you have sex with new or casual partners. If you do get symptoms then these usually appear between one and three weeks after having unprotected sex with an infected person. But for some people they don't actually develop until many months later. Sometimes the symptoms can disappear after a few days, but even if the symptoms disappear you may still have the infection and be able to pass it on. And because symptoms vary between men and women, we'll discuss these now in more detail. So at least 70% of women with chlamydia don't notice any symptoms, and if they do get symptoms, the most common ones are things such as pain when going for a wee, for which the medical term is dysuria, unusual vaginal discharge, and this might be white, yellow, or gray discharge from the vagina that may or may not be smelly, pain in the tummy or pelvis, pain during sex, which is medically known as dysparunia, bleeding after sex, which is known as postcoital bleeding, as well as bleeding between periods. This is known as intermenstrual bleeding. Now, if chlamydia is left untreated, it can spread to the womb and cause a serious infection called pelvic inflammatory disease. Now, this is a major cause of ectopic pregnancy as well as infertility, and I'll discuss more of the complications of untreated chlamydia in a separate video on this channel, so please do stay tuned for that. Now in men, the symptoms can be slightly different. At least half of men with chlamydia don't notice any symptoms, and if they do get symptoms, the most common ones include pain when going for a wee, white, cloudy or watery discharge from the tip of the penis, a burning or itching sensation in the urethra, and that's the tube that carries urine out of the penis, as well as pain in the testicles. Now, if chlamydia is left untreated, the infection can cause swelling in the epididymis. Those are the tubes that carry sperm from the testicles, and again, the testicles, which can affect fertility. Now, chlamydia can also affect areas other than the genitals, and this includes the rectum, so your bottom, as well as the throat and the eyes. Now, in terms of the rectum, it can affect the back passage if you have unprotected anal sex, and this can cause discomfort as well as discharge from your bottom. It can affect the throat if you have unprotected oral sex, now this is relatively uncommon and usually causes no symptoms, and it can even affect the eyes. So that's if they come into contact with infected semen or vaginal fluid, and this can cause eye redness, pain, and discharge, known as conjunctivitis. So now you know more about the potential symptoms, well, when should you seek medical advice? Well, here in the UK, if you've got any symptoms of chlamydia, or if you've concerned that you might have contracted chlamydia from having unprotected sex, then you should visit your local sexual health clinic as soon as possible. To help you locate one of these, the NHS have got an easy to use section on their website, and I've included a link to this in the description box of the video. If you live in the USA, then please do check out the CDC-backed Get Tested website, which helps you find free, fast, and confidential testing near you. Again, I've included a link to this website in the description section of this video. If you don't live in the UK or the US, then you should see your nearest health provider who will be able to help you. If you want to learn more about the diagnosis and treatment of chlamydia, then why not check out the other video on my channel where I outline this in much more detail. That brings us to the end of this video. If you did learn something new, then please remember to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to share any of your own experiences in the comments section to help others, then please do so. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.